Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to make a do-it-yourself bushcraft hobo reel, so stick around. Today I want to talk about hobo reels. Now, hobo reels come in all different shapes and sizes, but they all have the same design intent, and that is to catch fish on the fly. They also share a couple of unique characteristics, such as this spool right here and tapered end. It will accommodate your favorite type of fishing line. You have a unique handle that adds extra grip. And lastly, we have a plug that retains your fishing gear. Okay, making one of these is very simple. It's very straightforward. For me, I want to find a soft wood, meaning cottonwood, tulip poplar, aspen, or even willow. And I want that to be about inch and three quarters in diameter, no bigger than two inches. And the reason why is because I want to grab my hand, I want to fit it comfortably around that branch. Next, my length. I want that to be from my fingertip to the bottom of my palm. That should be good to go. Now, green or dry, meaning dead wood. I find that the green wood carves easier, but later on I have a shrink effect I have to deal with, and we'll talk about that later. The dry wood is pre-shrunk, but it's harder to carve, so pick your poison. From here, take one end and a sharp knife and measure over about a good half inch. Should be good to go. Then all you gotta do, push down into that and create a stop cut and work your way around. Then move down a good inch and a half, do the exact same thing. Now the easy part, taking your knife, all you gotta do is wedge it between that stop cut and remove that material. Don't push too hard because what you don't want to happen is this edge right here of this lip, you don't want to shear that off. From this stop cut right here, I want to go ahead and carve a 45 degree angle up towards the front of my hobo reel. Be careful not to shear it off. Just work gently, reduce that material so we have a nice 45 degree angle. This allows a line to spool off freely. Now you're working towards your hand, so if you have a pair of gloves, put those on. Just be very careful. You go this way, you risk the chance of shearing this off. Just work slow, saw it back and forth, keeping that 45 degree angle and you should be good to go. Now, we talked about the shrink effect. There's something in bushcraft called a shrink pot. And normally what people do is they grab a green branch or a tree trunk and they hollow it out. And they'll make a container out of that. Well, wood that's green, when it dries out, it shrinks down. So if you make a lid or a plug for that green pot out of the same material, the lid or plug's gonna shrink as well. And then the lid will just fall right off. So what you wanna do is find a dead branch 
carve your plug, pop it in there. So when the whole thing shrinks, it shrinks around that retaining plug, keeping it secure. Next step, go ahead and add your cordage or your fishing line. What I suggest is anywhere from a four to six pound test. All I did here was tie a jam knot at the base at my stop cut or my second stop cut. All I'm gonna do is take my string, my fishing line, and wrap it around. And when you're finished, grab a piece of your Gorilla brand duct tape Secure it, you're good to go. Outstanding. Really liking how this turned out. So what I'm not gonna do here is I'm not gonna wrap this handle with bank line. But for those interested, I'll show you how to do it. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and go with number 36 bank line. It has a small diameter and it's also tarred. Being tarred, it will actually bite into the wood as well as my hand, and it's not bulky like paracord. Now to do this, let's imagine that this is our hobo reel. Here's our second stop cut, and there's where our plug goes in. All I'm gonna do is make a loop. And place that loop on there, just like so. Starting here at the bottom, all I'm gonna do is wrap around and work my way towards that loop, pulling it tight each time. all the way down to the end of my loop. Let's go ahead and imagine we'll stop right here. And imagine that we did this all the way down to our loop. At that point, all we're gonna do is pass our end through that loop Making sure it's tight. Grab my other end. And again, this is wrapped all the way down. I'm gonna pull it tight. And pull that loop into the center of my lashing. Welcome back. Hobo reels are outstanding. They're compact, portable, lightweight. They can be tossed into a glove box or in a backpack. They'll be tangle free and waiting for you whenever you need them. Now this video was about making a hobo reel. In about a week, I have an overnighter planned. I'll take these hobo reels out and we'll slay some fish. Now, all the knives that you see in this video are available on my Amazon influencer page.
I'll put a link in the description box. Please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.